YouTube story here and today this is the first part in my Battle Pet series. In this series we are going to cover everything from the actual real 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 beginning all the way to the high-end Battle Pet stuff um, and everything in between. So the first uh, video which is today we're going to cover how to begin Battle Pets, how to do your first Battle Pet fight and how to capture Battle Pets. Uh, we will eventually get to the point where we're learning all the add-ons I use, how to use them, um, the pet families, the different breeds. We're going to go through absolutely everything in um, you know week to week series. There'll be a new video each week, but this one here is just going to cover the main video, uh, the main battle pets, like how to actually start it. As you can see, I have a lot of add-ons that I use that are going to make it very confusing, so I'll turn them all off for this video. But these eventually, these add-ons, I'll be able to teach you. So you can see, I've got all the uh, trainers saved and it can load up the fights. Um, they also have scripts which allow you to do the abilities that you want each fight, uh, automatically substitute leveling pets in a leveling queue. But these are add-ons I'll teach you as we go week to week. Uh, you can also see what breeds I have as well. Um, so to start this off, I'm going to turn off all my add-ons. So I'll be right back real quick and then we'll get started on that, guys. All right, guys, and I'm back with all my add-ons turned off. So this is how your stream will most likely look if you haven't ever touched Battle Pets before. Um, and obviously we'll have these two Battle Pet things locked. You're only allowed to use one pet when you first start, um, which is fine. I'll teach you guys how to unlock it and stuff like that. It's been a while since I have done it, so hopefully my information is still correct on that. Um, but yeah, you also can't see the breeds anymore. Well, not that I know of. I've never used this uh, default add-on too much. But you can just see how rare they are and stuff like that. So I'll be teaching you guys how to get through the correct add-ons and all that. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to want to find a Battle Pet Trainer. Now, there's a lot of these. There is two in all Grimmer, uh, similar for Alliance. There is actually some like when you start leveling. So I think in Razor Hill, there's one. Um, there's one in the Tauren starting zone, Human starting zone, and stuff like that. The best thing to do, I'll quickly bring up real quick, is just go to our head, type in, let's stop that, type in a Battle Pet Trainer, and then a list of all of them will come up. So you can see Stormwind City, Darkshore, um, you know, Tristan Fall. There's, there's basically, they're everywhere. So you just want to go find one. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to have a quick chat to him. And we're going to be, I'm interested in catching some rare pets. He is now going to give us the option to learn battle pet training. So this allows you to train, fight, and track battle pets, which is very important. So I think it only costs about 10 gold. And as long as you're above level 5, there's no issues. The other thing he will do is he will let you learn a pet. Now, some of these pets are actually quite um, expensive to buy. Uh, so some of the, each class or each race gets a specific pet um, so that's like worgen panda and goblin in particular their pets are worth quite a lot um, and they sell for anywhere from 5 to 10k and this is the only way to get them so they cost i think four silver and 75 copper from memory maybe depending on reputation that changes a little bit so you can learn your first pet like this as well there's also numerous vendors around the capital cities or you know at the front of stormwind there's a vendor that sells cats between the starting zone and storm when you can run and find him the is also one in all grimmer that sells snakes and a few other things as well so lots of different places to get pets even a little toy vendor that sells a clockwork robot or something from memory so you're going to learn your first pet we'll go show you the snake vendor if you're a horde um the alliance the cat vendor all you do is go out storm wind turn left follow the mountain there'll be like a little house and there's a person inside there which i think sells four different types of cats they're all around the 50 silver mark each so really cheap the other thing you can do if you don't even want to go to a vendor, you can go to your AH. There'll usually be some really common pets for around like a gold to 10 gold each. So that's something you can do. So here we go. This guy sells, um, so this is the orc one that he would have trained me in. Uh, this one sells three snakes. So I'm just going to buy a black king snake for this video. We'll quickly learn that. And you can see it's green quality. Now, once you get more into battle pets, you can get a lot of these stones you see in my bag, which will upgrade them to blue quality, which will give them more health more power and more speed um, but i'll cover that a little bit more later on so now we have our black king snake we're going to type it in here so you can see i've already got a level 25 one and we're going to pop it just here in our first slot so you can see i've only unlocked the first ability um, and you can have that in total there's six ability you can choose any three um, depending on the tier. So you can choose one of these two, one of these two, and one of these two. So obviously we just have Bite right now. We need to level them up to level four, and then we'll have those three abilities. Um, so to do that, we need to either get into pet battles, 
um, doing our first pet battle. Or if you have a level 3 garrison, I will show you how to get to level 25 after. This video is really just covering the first pet battle. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out here and we're going to fight a pet. So you want to go to your magnifying glass and there's a little one here just on your minimap called track pets. So you just want to make sure that is ticked. And then when we're flying or running across your map, you eventually see little green paw prints show up on your minimap. So we're just going to run out here because I know there's a few out this way. There's also a train here. So as you can see, we can now see a dung beetle and an adder, a creepy crawly. So we can see lots of different types of pets. Now I personally collect every pet. So I have one of all of these pets. So I don't really need to capture them. But what we're going to be doing is showing you how to battle them. So to unlock this second slot here, you need to get an achievement. I'm pretty sure the achievement is to get a pet to level 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly um, do a pet battle and show you guys how to do it. So you're just going to right click on the creepy crawly. You can see he is grey quality, has 153 health, um, ours has 145, so a little bit lower because he's level 2. Um, but we should hopefully win this because as you can see down here, our bite attack is actually strong against critters. So that's what this little green arrow means at the bottom of our screen. It means that it is uh, super, super effective against critter type animals. And you can see here, he is critter, we are a beast. Now I will cover all of the different families, I think there's 10 in total, um, and what they do in more detail in the next video. But as you can see, um, the beast has a little passive, plus it takes extra damage and does less damage to certain things. So this is a really good matchup for us. Um, because we're going to do more damage. So the first thing you want to do, you can use your uh, keyboard and push one, two, or three, or you can push, you can click it. It's up to you, doesn't matter. And number four will let you swap pets, but obviously you can't do that until you unlock other ones. So we don't really want to do that now. We're just going to go straight for the bite, and um, our little pet will. So basically, he went first. So the reason he went first is because his speed attribute is higher than my black king snakes. So you can see. The little arrow here, oh, I can't really point to it at the same time, but the little, um, so you can see the stats there. He's got a little sword and then like little three arrows. Those three arrows means he's got 16 speed. I have nine, um, which is really low at the moment because he's actually hit me with an attack that reduces my speed by 25%. So he's now always going to go first, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference in this low level matchup. So we're just going to continue doing what we're doing with just bite because it's all we've got. And uh, eventually we should hopefully kill him and our pet will survive. Um, so basically we can do, you know, only this. All right, so we've killed it in three shots. Our Black King Snake will get some experience. So I've got 66 experience and he is now at level two. So we can have a look at him now. You can see his health has gone back up to full, which is really cool. Um, so after each fight, if your pet doesn't die, it does restore a little bit of health. Usually not full health, but in this case, because we've leveled up, it has. Um, if it does die or if it's really low on health, there is a thing we can click up here, which will revive slash heal all our battle pets to 100% health. Now it does have an eight minute cooldown. Um, if you need to res them a bit quicker, you can go to a stable master anywhere. There is one over here, which I will show you. It does cost 10 silver. Um, but if you just go again to Wowhead, type in stable master, it will show you where they are. And as you can see in our mini map, they are popping up everywhere all these different ads. So we now have a level two black king snake. Now you can see we have unlocked another attack called Hiss. Now this is similar to what that uh, beetle used against me. So it deals 40 damage and reduces the target speed by 25% for four rounds. So that way he's going to be slower than us. We get to go first. Now we don't have too many attacks that that's really going to matter in. Oh, actually, here we go. We've got the other uh, battle pet trainer here. And um, he will just teach you the same thing. So if you're low level, just starting out, you can definitely go there and um, you know learn how to do it there. So we've got a stable master here, and they are able to heal and revive all your battle pets. You can pay money, but you don't have to wait for the cooldown. So there, that is a good way to do it. If you don't have many battle pets, you're stuck on what to use, you can just come here and heal them. But obviously, it does add up pretty quickly. So we've already used our eight minute cooldown. Well, actually, we didn't use it because everything's healed. Oh, there we go. Now we have. Um, and we're going to go into our second fight. So now this is a snake. Now, if you're a bit worried about our matchup, we can definitely pick off critters because we now know that our beast is good against critters. But we'll go against a level 2 snake and we'll have a good matchup. So we're just going to right-click again. And we're actually going to catch this snake. So this one's actually a green one. So class is uncommon. Similar to how your loot works, um, this is... Uh, 
you know, a little bit more rare, so he's going to have a bit higher stats. And you can also see that mine is faster, so I've got the little speed symbol there. Um, mine has got 24 speed, he's got 21. So we can also see his abilities that he has. I do have an add-on that's going to display that much better. Oh, yeah, actually, you can't really see. Hang on, let me just turn my overlay off real quick. All right, so you can't actually see me. So you can see um, my speed, my abilities. I'm glowing gold, which means I'm going to be the one that goes first. And then he's not. So you can actually see his abilities are exactly the same as mine. So he's got bite and hiss. So he's probably going to use hiss and slow my speed. Um, you can also see that hiss has a three round cooldown and 100% hit chance. So he won't miss and it's going to slow his speed. So we're going to start off by using hiss here. Um, and now we can see that he's got the debuff, similar to like when you're playing normal, um, where he's slower. Now he used the same attack on us, but because we're already okay here, we're still going to be faster. We're already faster to begin with. So now this has a three round cooldown, similar to uh, normal WoW when you've got ability on cooldown, except not a timer, it's a round cooldown. So we're just going to use buy it now. Uh, and then we got also, guys, just a few more buttons that I didn't point out. So number five is our trap. Now you will start off with a very poor version of the trap. So there's achievements that you will eventually unlock, which I'll teach you how, that will upgrade your trap. So as you can see, I have a pristine trap. Uh, which I think it all it does is gives me a higher chance to capture it um, each time it fails. So I believe the first one is 20%, then 25%, and then 30%. So each time it fails, I have a 30% more chance to capture the pet. Uh, number six is forfeit. So we can run from the fight. It will give you a little warning. If you do run from the fight, you do lose 10% of all pet HPs. So your pet, uh, your pent my Pantheon Spirit, and my Nexus Wellbeing would all lose health. So we're just going to cancel that. And we're just going to go buy it, and then hopefully he will hit about 35%, which he has. Um, and now we have the chance to capture him. Uh, now this may not work. It is only a 30% chance to work. Yours will be a bit lower. So we're going to try our luck at capturing them. Personally, I feel there's a very high chance when they're low-level mobs and you're just starting that you always capture them. So we're going to give this a go. And um, I'm 99% I'm sure there is like uh, some behind the scenes stuff to give you a higher catch chance when you're lower level. Just going to see if this works, but it should be about 100% chance. So we're just going to throw our little trap and we caught him. So now he is now caught, the fight will end. We, we did get some experience, not as much I don't think. And we did also now you've earned Adder. So you can have a quick look. We now have, oh hang on, so we want to type in Adder. So you can see I already have a level 25 blue Adder, but I now also have this one here which is a level 2 one, and he's also still level 2. Now sometimes when you catch a pet, his level will actually go down a little bit. So say I catch a level 10 pet, it might go down to like level 8 or something like that. In this case it hasn't because we're very low, um, but now we have a level 2 out of there which we can swap in, and he's got full health. So he's going to do pretty much the same things as our Black King Snake, um, but you know we can now substitute them around. Actually, actually, the first achievement might be raised to level 3 and you get the second slot unlocked because I remember it being newbie. And then just the pup might be the second one to get to level 5 to get your second slot. Um, without creating a new account, I wasn't able to simulate that, so I do apologise. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that helps you guys out. This is just a really, really, really basic introduction to it. And like I said, all you want to do is run around real quick. Now, Adder isn't level 3 yet, but one more fight and we'll be level 3. And then we'll be able to stick two pets in there. All right, so you can see I didn't heal up and my health's a little low. We should be okay though because he's only a white quality, so I'm not too worried. Um, so we're just going to quickly do this. One more bite and he would die. So there is a chance that sometimes you'll do a critical strike or something along those lines. All right. So there we go. We, you just see we leveled like a normal character would. My adder is now at level 3, so we can see he's now level 3. He also gets his full health back, similar to if you level up in-game. Uh, and next level we'll be able to unlock an ability called Burrow, uh, which is another really cool ability. And yeah, so that is basically what you want to do. That should unlock the second slot. It should be newbie. I'm 99% sure that it is now. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do, guys. Really easy. I hope you guys enjoyed the little introduction to pet battles. I will definitely be progressing this further and further and showing more information. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, guys.